guys, welcome to today's vlog. I thought I would start the vlog off by doing like kind of an updated hair routine slash quick review of like these Pureology products. Um, I hauled these like in a, in a vlog not too long ago and I've used them um, just a couple times, like maybe four times. Um, and so far I really like them. What I've been doing is I've been letting my hair like mostly air dry. Um, like today, I'm not sure if you can tell, but the ends are pretty much dry, but the roots are really, really wet. And then um, after it's mostly air dry, I'll finish it off with a blow dry. And I feel like my hair, um, when I blow dry the roots, it doesn't get as greasy as easily. And so I can wait a few more days before I wash it. Um, and so I've been washing my hair like maybe twice a week this summer, um, but I've been using this um, instant levitation mist on my roots and this smooth and perfect heat protectant on my ends. So I'm just going to quickly show you. Um, I just put it on before I blow dry it. I won't show you me blow drying my hair because I feel like that's boring. Um, and then after I blow dry it, I use this Chi, which is what I've always used and I'll either straighten it or curl it. So um, I didn't even show how much. I use like maybe a quarter size amount of the Smooth Perfection and put that through my ends. Um, I haven't even brushed my hair. Maybe I should have done that first. Um, but I'll brush my hair with like a wet brush, um, which I love the wet brush. I don't know if it's like really healthy to use on your hair when it's wet, but it makes it not hurt when you're brushing your hair um, compared to a normal brush. So, um, not really sure how great it is on your hair though. One time I went to like a hairstylist and I was getting my hair cut and the hairstylist was like, I can tell you use a brush on your hair. Um, that's why it has so much breakage and I was like well I use a wet brush and this he had no idea what a wet brush was so I don't know how good it actually is on your hair but back then I did use like I used a combination like sometimes I used a wet brush and sometimes I used a normal brush so it could have just been the normal brush doing all that to my hair I'm actually gonna put on some more of the smooth protection so my hair um it does kind of make your hair feel kind of heavy because it is kind of thick. I'm just going to put a little bit since I think I brushed some of it out. Can you guys hear my kids fighting? That's how it's been all quarantine, all quarantine long, just fighting all day. Um, so I'm going to really put that into my ends because my ends get the driest. And then this stuff I have especially been loving because I feel like it just gives like, especially since my hair is long, um, I don't have a lot of volume up here. My hair is like, it, it really weighs down and so um, it's really flat. And so I like to take this and it's been really helping with the volume and I just like spray it in sections. I don't know how long you can see. I just spray it in sections up by the roots. I have a kid sc literally scratching at the bathroom door. It's not locked. She could come in here if she wanted to. She's just, I don't know what she's doing. But she's not locked out. She could come in if she wanted to. And I just take it, um, and then I just take it and spray it throughout. It smells really good. Like it doesn't have like a, a, a scent to it per se. It just kind of smells like hair salon. Like it doesn't smell fruity or floral or anything. I feel like this is what I've been loving the most of these two products is ever since I've started using this, it's just really giving my hair a lot of volume. So um, now I'm gonna blow dry my hair and then I'm gonna straighten it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, and yeah. Okay, really quick, here's how it looks before straightening it. As you can tell, so much volume, even down here. My hair is just like already, I didn't even use like a brush or anything. I just blow dry it through, but already it's like so much smoother. Um, compared to like how fluffy and stuff it was before. So it's really, I'm really not gonna have to straighten it too much. Straightening is just really gonna make these straight pieces look more sleek. And then I have some like wavy pieces here um, to straighten out. Yeah. And so here we go. I also just finished off with a little bit of 
rosehip oil, which if you've been watching me for a long time, you know I always put rosehip oil on the ends of my hair because um, it just helps keep um, your ends hydrated. I've been really thinking of like maybe starting to part my hair in the center, either start parting in the center or like get bangs or something because I'm having really bad postpartum hair loss like right here where I usually part it and it's driving me crazy but I just love I love the side part I know it's very like 2010s um like early 2010s but I just like my hair like this I think it's flattering I like having like a little swoosh right here I don't know so that's like an updated hair routine for me um not sponsored I did get them sent for free um from influencer I'll link the vlog that I share them in down below, but uh, yeah, that's an update. Um, if anything goes wrong, I'll continue to update. Um, but I didn't want to do like a full dedicated video um, reviewing them just because I feel like I have so many hair care videos up on my channel and they're all very repetitive. Like I, I put products in my hair and then I either straighten it or curl it. Um, so yeah, that is a... Uh, that's what I've been doing for my hair lately. Husband just picked up Pokey for lunch. It looks so, so yummy. What what kind of fish is this? Is it? It's tuna salmon. It's tuna. Okay. It's tuna and salmon. They really stiffed me on the avocado though. There's barely any avocado in there. And then some crab salad, seaweed salad. So yummy. Okay, so I just made some frozen hot chocolate. It's super easy, just milk, ice, and hot chocolate powder. Blend it up and top with whipped cream. Good morning, everybody. So it is the next day, and I've got pancakes and sausages on the griddle. I love this thing. If you didn't see my last vlog, I got this for my husband for Father's Day. It's amazing. It makes making breakfast, I wouldn't say like easier, but yeah, actually, yeah, I would say easier because I can just do everything on one thing and cleanup is so easy. You just wipe it down and then this right here is like a grease trap and then you clean that out. And so, so easy to clean, um, easy to cook on. I'm also going to make bacon and we're going to have strawberries on top of the pancakes. I'm also cutting up some lemons so I can have some lemonade. I'll show you that. Um, actually, let me make that and then I'll show it to you. Okay, so here it is. I just have some lemon slices down the side just to make it look pretty and also just make it taste more um, like fresh because it is these things that I also showed in the last vlog. I used the regular lemonade and just a tiny, tiny bit of the blackberry. Um, I mix them together because the blackberry one doesn't taste super lemony. Um, but yeah, and that's, that's how I've been having lemonade lately. It's just super refreshing for summer. Okay, so here is my breakfast. I'm also trying to use up some stuff that we have in the pantry. So um, I'm going to make like a chocolate pie. We also have cream cheese, so I'm wondering if I could use this and make it like actually like a chocolate cream cheese or a chocolate cheesecake sort of thing. I don't know. I think I'm just going to experiment with it. Okay, so it is now a little bit later and now I am having some lemon water. I've been seeing a lot of TikToks lately about like romanticizing your life and just doing little like minute things for yourself that make you happy and for me lately that's just been having pretty drinks and so um you know just being a little extra for yourself and so I'm having lemon water and these TikToks if I can find any I'll link them down below but they've been really helping with my mental health lately like truly um because it's they, they've been about like just really doing the smallest little things just because it'll make you happy and sometimes that's lighting a candle sometimes that's putting lemons in your water and being a little extra um I can't think of anything else right now those are the two things that I've done for myself today I've got a candle lit over here um but yeah, I've been like loving it. And so that's what I'm doing for myself this morning.
guys happy 4th of July so um I just did my makeup and filmed a couple sit down videos that'll be up soon but I got a little package in the mail um from a brand so I thought I would unbox it for today's vlog so this swimsuit is from the brand LIGO Life um they did let me pick out what swimsuit I wanted so I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys I'll do a little try on later in this vlog this swimsuit retails for $25 and it looks like this it's gonna be hard to tell but it has this beautiful like blue and red color I mostly picked it for the colors um, and then it has a um, like ruffle here it has a metal clasp in the middle and then it's like a string bikini and I've been wearing a lot of high-waisted bikinis this is a like a low-cut hip hugger bikini Ooh, it's gonna be very cheeky um and then these sides you like tie up so they have like tassels you tie them up so that way I don't know the tassels don't dang um, dangle as far down as they are right now I just fell in love with these colors um, like I said uh, $25 on their website um, they had me send in my measurements and then that way they could get me an appropriate size um, so I sent them my measurements and they sent me a size large normally um, I would have ordered a size medium so what that's telling me is if you order from their website to definitely size up this looks super like very sexy and very scandalous actually I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on now and I'll show you guys. Okay, so here is what it looks like. I'm so obsessed with these ruffles right here. I just think they are so flattering. And then the tassels on the side. See what I mean when you tie it up like higher? They're just so cute. So they don't dangle down as low as they originally thought. It is very cheeky. Very cheeky, very revealing, but I love it. Like I said, I was kind of like nervous to get it because um, I've been wearing a lot of like high-waisted and one pieces since I had a baby not too long ago, but I actually feel like so confident in this. And especially like these bright colors, I'm just obsessed with these colors and this pattern. I love it so much. So there's my quick little review of this Lego Life bikini. I'll link their website down below. Like I said, order a size up. This is a large and it's, it fits me perfectly. So, so excited to wear this. Okay, and so then here is my outfit for the day. I got this shirt at Walmart the year before last. It came with this blue bandeau. I think it's cute. I don't know if bandeaus are still like trendy. It's like high neck. So it's layered. I don't know. I think it's really cute. And then I hauled the kids stuff um, a couple videos ago, but I'll show you their outfits before they get dressed. Um, I'll just show you right now. So we've got baby's outfit. Mommy and daddy's all American cutie. Big girl's outfit and big boys outfit. So that's what they're gonna be wearing. And then we can't do fireworks in our area, so we are limited to poppets and smoke balls. Um, but we are going to have, um, we're gonna grill some hot dogs for dinner. I'm gonna make some fancy drinks with these Gatorades and Twizzlers. Gonna make some red velvet cake with berries on top and I'll show it to you um, when it's all done. So it's um it's Tuesday now um, and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here but I quickly wanted to show you two things the first is my husband got these Olympic Oreos he thought they were 4th of July Oreos 
Bear Olympic Oreos. Fourth of July was a couple days ago. But, um, he knows I love, like, the, when they do, like, colored Oreos and stuff. And, um, he picked out, so I thought I'd share them. They have Olympia, the, uh, I can't talk. They have Olympic Oreos out right now. Um, next, I, I was watching, I've got two little girls in here, so if you hear noises, that's why. Um, I was watching Sadie XO's most recent vlog, and she was doing a what's in her purse video, so I thought I would, I've been meaning to transfer purses for a while, so I thought I would film while I do that and also do a what's in my purse video. This is the purse I'm currently using. I shown both of these purses like back in January, and I'm basically going to repeat what I said in January. This purse I got off Amazon is $40. It's like a faux Louis Vuitton. It's amazing. It's such good quality. I have a matching wallet. And in December, um, a month after um, baby was born, because I got this brown one um, to be a diaper bag. My husband got me this um, Michael Kors bag a month later, and I love this bag. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this bag, but it's just, it's not big enough for a diaper bag. And it looks pretty big, but when you actually open it up and see the inside, it's just not big enough to fit all the things I need it to fit. Um... And I've been really considering buying this one in lighter colors because they also have one that's like a white and beige version. Um, and so I don't know. I've been kind of going back and forth between buying this and that color because I love this bag so much. I've been using it since November. Um, but I thought I would switch to a lighter bag for summer. I know it's been summer for a while, but like... We hardly ever leave the house. I hardly ever need a diaper bag these days because we hardly leave the house. So I think I'm um, I'm okay to use this bag and it'd be okay. This video is going to have a lot of jump cuts because there is so much noise from these little girls. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is switch wallets over. Um, I like to match my wallet to my bag. So um, I don't really have anything interesting in my wallet, but one thing that I did want to share is my Starbucks gold card but um I've had it since 2015 and I kind of like I don't know I kind of forgot the gold card was like an actual card just because I use my app so often now but I saw it in my wallet not too long ago and I was like I forgot about that that's that's fun that's very telling of the times um when we used to actually carry our gold cards around so I'm gonna switch my wallet over and this Michael Kors wallet is like a tri-fold. I do prefer like these kinds of wallets versus that are like more like clutches. I don't know. Um, and my battery's running out. So first thing that I just kind of have sitting on top of here because I just washed them are a bunch of masks. I have my mask. Um, and then I have both of the kids' masks. I've shown these in the past. Um, they've only had to use them once and it was for appointments. Um, but this one's my son. This one's my daughter's. Peppa Pig and then the baby uses I don't even have it in here but she uses this little car seat cover since she can't have a mask I just put a car seat cover on her when she has appointments that's the only time that the kids actually leave the house um, they've only had to leave the house once and that's the only thing it was for we're still like being very strict with social distancing and then I have diapers and this is very telling of how often we leave the house because these are size two diapers and my baby is in size four diapers now. So I um, need to switch these out. I also have some, a random mismatched baby sock. That's probably from her appointment. Oh, and then that, that cover came with a hat. I haven't even used it, but it's just at the, sitting at the bottom of my purse. Um, I've got a little scrunchie and then I have two hand creams because I just threw them in here but I have this Grove Collaborative hand cream. I haven't even used this because I got this like within the past couple months since quarantine started. I got this and I just threw it in my purse so I can have more hand cream on the go. Then I have this Sweet and Shimmer Frosted Vanilla Hand Lotion. This is like, this was one of the ones like from Ulta as part of their Christmas. Um, the like Christmas stocking stuffer section and that's pretty decent. I have a binky that needs to be washed because it's covered with dirt and whatever the hell is at the bottom of my purse. Um, another sock, a couple of 
bra inserts for breastfeeding. Another sock. I have this thing. It connects my camera to my phone so I can put pictures that are on my camera on my phone. A pen. A chapstick. A Victoria's Secret perfume. This is in Tea's Flower. It looks like this. This is several years old. Actually, I think I got this the year I graduated college, which was 2017. So it's like three years old. I've got a tiny, tiny little thing of hand sanitizer. I also have a big bottle um, in the car. Then let's see. We've got a bunch of receipts. Another boob pad. Diaper rash cream. More pens. I don't know why I have so many pens in here. I have my EpiPen. I have an old Starbucks gift card, which is already loaded onto my app. I have gum, which I think I'm gonna have a piece right now. So that's everything that was in this purse that I'm going to be putting into this purse. So again, big shout out to Sadie XO. I'll link her vlog because she inspired like this little what's in my bag. I used to do these videos like every season because I, I usually change bags out seasonally. But I don't know, the past couple years they're not as popular here. So like they're not as popular on YouTube, but I still think they're fun. So that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.